I want to talk about goldbacks, a new monetary money, if you will, true money, solid gold bills. Easy to get involved with, easy to get into, cost around $3.60 to $3.80 right now with the gold prices. But they are the future. Four states have already adopted these. A fifth state coming along. This is a true form of money. Solid gold bills. Let's talk about today the DeFi IoT. What I want to talk about today are called gold backs, and they are bills backed by gold. I talked about this before, uh, showing you what they were, why I liked them. But then I was talking to a, a new friend of mine named Mark, and we were talking about the gold backs, and he asked me, so okay, if I was doing a, some, some work on his home, I'm a contractor, and he asked me, so if I want to pay you in these, how would I do that? So we have a, a value. We determined what my work was going to be. He was going to pay me for We were done. We were discussing. He said, so if I was to pay you these, how would these work? How these gold backs work? And I think that it's a good video to explain a little bit of how they would work. If you go on goldbacks.com, the website, they have basically a calculator that you can use that would help you to, and I'll put the website link down below. There's a calculator that you can use that will determine how many gold backs you would pay or what, what denominations, right? Pretty much though, every one one hundredth of an ounce of gold back, and that's the smallest bill, that's one gold back. And if you go to a bigger bill, like a five or 10 or, 20 or 50 or whatever you're going to go to, the bills they have available now, you would then determine what that value is, right? So you can determine that there, but there's also a number of providers now that sell the goldbacks. Goldbacks.com themselves do not sell them. You have to buy them through an intermediary um, and they have a list of basically official intermediaries that you can buy from. To, to secure your purchase of an actual solid gold bill. They're real thin, by the way. How I would determine that is the quick way is this. If you if 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 they're they have a valuation and they their market that they have out there now with those who the retailers that will actually accept these bills in these states. Remember the states are Nevada, Utah, um, Wyoming, New Hampshire, and another fifth state's coming along. I can't remember what it is right now. I want to say Montana, but don't quote me on that. Basically, they have a valuation. So when you're buying them, they're also valued at a, a purchase price, like 360 or 370. Some sell for more. Some sell for a premium on top of that. Remember, goldbacks, though, are about 88%, give or take, higher than if you were to buy a true a, a, a troy ounce of gold. The reason being is because every time you break that down, the process for breaking that down and making that actually more applicable for usage in a market where you would actually use that for it for exchange, right, or for bargaining purposes, if you will, then you're obviously going to increase the price. So therefore, there's a value placed on the gold backs. This value then at 360, I would take if I did a job that was. $500 or $1,000 or $2,000, whatever it might be, I would just divide that out by the value of whatever determined on goldbacks.com, on that, whatever that measure is. The same you would when you try to find a, a gold price today, a spot gold price. But you can't really trade spot gold price um, on spot because there's always a premium and it's a premium could be negotiated. So there's that room for negotiation. You have basically a spot price of what a gold back is worth and then negotiation. Remember, that is much more applicable in a real world society for usage for interchange. You're not going to take a, tr a troy ounce of gold. 
or even a quarter ounce of, of, of a coin, for example, of gold and, and trade that or break that up into pieces to trade that because if it's a coin, it loses value because you're paying also premium for a coin, right? Because those coins have a, 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 a prestige to them, a, a, a quality, a confidence in them, if you will. But a gold back itself is gaining its own confidence. And so therefore they'll trade at a higher premium. And, and I feel good about that. I like the fact that it's applicable. I mean, it's very practical and for usage in a society where, hey, if the dollar goes to bunk, which we've got other videos explaining what's going on with it, with the with the Chinese yuan, yuan, the gold back, the digital Chinese yuan, with the BRICS nations and now the OPEC nations aligning to create and use the, the, the digital yuan, gold back yuan, as the new petrodollar, as the new global currency, then you had better start thinking about in inflation as well. You better start thinking about what are our alternatives in the future, give or take, whether the dollar stays or doesn't stay. The gold itself and the gold back is much more practical in a society where chaos exists and currency loses confidence. DeFi IoT. Just wanted to share with you how that would work and how the gold and the gold back could be an exchange, interchanged on an actual free market economy. Give us a thumbs up, subscribe to us, and we'll talk to you in the next video.